subscribe to this. Um, hello, friends. Oh my gosh, so many, so many friends joining. Hi. Uh, so moving fast, moving fast, baby. This is life. So it's like uh, my heart is beating so fast. Um, the next person I'm going to bring on is uh, the sweet, uh, brilliant Brianna Clark. So I have just invited her to share the screen with me. Oh my gosh. Drum roll. In the form of a piano. Oh my gosh, those are not right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what was that? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Amazing. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Hi. Hi. Your bangs look great. Thank you. It's so hot in Toronto right now. It's <gasps> disgusting. <laughs> yeah, girl, same. It is like, I am like, I, I put on, I did some like dry shampoo situation before this. And I'm like, yeah, I think in the last literally 30 minutes, I've already like undone all of that. The Seriously. stickiness is real. The stickiness <laughs> is real. It's very real. How are you? How are you feeling? How is your heart? You know, it's the up and down. I think like this is the weirdest time, but I'm also finding so much um, gratitude and like pleasure for myself and the people that I love. Um, yeah, just trying to, you know, ride those ups and those downs, you know? <laughs> yep, yep, How are yep. you? Oh, dude, so similar. I've been thinking about, I've been sitting with a lot, like, this idea of, like, kind of the creative stories we tell ourselves about, like, what we're lacking or, like, what we have and, and all of that. And, and in that up and downness, like, I've also been thinking about, like, the tide, like, the creative tide coming in and when the creative tide goes out and how when the creative tide goes out, it's not, it's gonna come back. Like, it's, it's temporary. Yes. Um, and everything is temporary and everything is impermanent. And yeah, gratitude is, gratitude and play and pleasure are the ways to survive right now, I'm finding, are the ways to ground, to ground down, to ground down and do those things. What have you, what have you been, what have you been doing to um, find that, find that play and find that joy? What, what are things that have been like grounding you in that? This um, last week, I actually started teaching summer camp to like some kids, very, very small group of kids because of yeah. COVID, but it has reminded me of just like the sharing and the connection with people. Um, I'm, I, I teach dance a lot. So it, it is so much about like being in the space with people, a yeah. full class of people. Um, and that's just brought me a lot of joy because kids are just the funniest humans in the world. <laughs> like, I had a kid who was like coming up to me. She's like, oh, like, I want to give you a hug. I was like, I know we can't. And then she goes and she runs over to a tree and gives over to a tree and gives a tree a hug. And I was just like, the world is a perfect place with kids in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> We don't deserve, we don't deserve, we don't deserve dogs and we don't deserve, we don't deserve youth. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. So that's been bringing me a lot of joy. Just, you know, trying to connect to people as much as I can within reason yeah. of social distancing. But yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that is so real. That's so real. Um, speaking of connecting with people, I, one of the things like I, I would love to learn and hear and for our our uh, sweet 11 friends joining in right now uh, <laughs> Hi, <friends. laughs> to, hear, to hear about this podcast of yours that, that um, you've been doing for a while now, right? Yeah, um, it started like two years ago. It was very much like a side project. I just yeah. anytime I saw a show or some kind of piece of art that I just wanted to hear more about, I brought these people on, these artists, whoever it was, um, dancers, singers, actors, whatever it is. And I just wanted to hear about their process because as you know, and as you know, as artists know, the process is so, it always has an interesting story to it, no matter what it is, there's yeah, something okay. interesting to hear. And, and I, I wanted to share that with other people because yes, you can have the product and you can see the product, but what's going on in the process? What, like, you know, what went wrong at 2 a.m., like, when things weren't working, but you figured it out kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. so I started this podcast um, 
called Art Versations, Conversations with Art in the Middle. Um, and it's been going strong now. And I, I just finished season two, which was really cool. And, and I'm just so grateful to have it, especially right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I feel like I feel like a lot of conversations that are being had right now, particularly while theater is shut down. I know that you you said you're talking with a lot of different artists, but I feel like a lot of the conversations I've been having um, and been bearing witness to is like what happens when we're kind of in constant process right now. Like the product is not available to us, yeah. so it's the time to really lean into the process to really like, you know. I mean, there are products that are available digitally like you know there are products like you know this this single i'm releasing is technically a product but like you know the the product of theater the product of um and the experience of experiencing that product in a shared space is no longer accessible to us and i'm curious you just said that you finished season two so were you doing these interviews like while covid was happening as well i was yeah amazing um... I've been in school this past year, so it yeah. kind of was up and down when I could do it. But um, in a kind of a blessing way, as soon as COVID hit, I was like, okay, I'm going to reach out over Zoom. And I just want to talk to people wherever they're at, even if they're not making things, like they're still artists inside and there's always something to talk about. So I, yeah, I've been doing it over COVID and that's been just a, a true blessing really to talk to people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, I feel like that's the thing I miss the most is like bumping into people and talking to strangers, like and having like just like in depth conversations with people I just met. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I had like, uh, I did it, um, the like kind of cool down podcast with with Colin, um, which was like a part of the TPAP this year. Yes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, the, the podcast itself is going to be 10 minutes, but we talked for like an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> Because we were both just like, oh my god, like another another maker in the, Sounds about in, right. in the yeah. world right now. <laughs> um, I'm so curious. In, in the last few minutes of, of our of our quick check in, like, what were there any stories that were shared with you over the last um, you know few months that like particularly resonated with you or that you found like really inspiring? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, so many, so many actually. <laughs> Um, my, my most recent guest who was sort of like the end of season two, um, yeah. she's a dancer in Toronto here named Kelly Shaw. And she, um, as a dancer only uses, you know, her body and her, leg. but she talked to me about opening up like the lid on her throat and letting herself, um, be heard and letting her vocals come out as, as they do. Wow. That was really, really nice to hear especially as a dancer myself too like just not being afraid to speak or not being afraid to make a weird noise or something um that was really inspiring yeah i mean right now everyone is just so in a weird time that i feel like there's so many things that we can be honest about almost and just say like this is what's happening in our world yeah. um the good and the bad i'll be honest with you yeah um, and I did want to say, like, I really um, admire that you're including um, the BTFA collective in this. I think that's amazing to, you know, reach out to people and try and collect something. Um, because the world is weird and it's upside down and we have to find a way to flip it right back up again into a Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Okay. Yeah, man, it's got, it's got to, like, all that shit that we were, like, afraid to look at, I feel like on, a inter, on, a, on, an, on an individual level um, and also on a, like, societal level, like, the things that we have been afraid to talk about are now, like, really, like, surfacing in a way where it is you cannot ignore these things anymore. You cannot ignore the fact that, like, Black trans women are, like, disproportionately attacked and murdered in this in this country and like kind of globally um you can't yeah. ignore those things um and and you kind of have to like yeah it's a time for us to really be like i think all of us i think uh to to kind of really reinvigorate our humanity and and um really think about what it what it means to be human and what it means to come together when we especially when we can't physically be together um and you know we're all humans no matter the race the sex whatever 
and sure. that is like that's that uh, that's the core of it right there is yeah and, and our yeah yeah. yeah, and our society has like been formulated in such a way to make us forget that, and and to um, where it is, and and like, but also at the same time, like the construct of race is a very real thing, and it's something that we have invented. That is like, now we must live with the consequences of inventing that thing that yeah. has like separated us. Um, and that is disproportionately like affecting people um, and their lives, whether that's in COVID, whether that's housing, whether that's, you know, um, education, there are like all, and especially like in terms of like talking about and like resources for mental health as well. Um, it's like, yeah, cannot be, must, must be, must be noted, must mm -hmm. be discussed, must be repaired. Um, and the people who've done the damage are the ones who need to do the repairing. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, and I, I want to send all my love to you across the, across our borders. That have across been... the border. Oh my God. Yeah, Brianna is coming from Canada. So like, I'm uh, truly jealous that you are not in America right now. Uh, but um, I, I really thank you for your time and, and your heart and for coming on here and for like giving what you gave into our rehearsal room to make this song. And I am, so so stoked to see you and to um to follow your podcast and to and to listen in thank you so so much that opportunity with our r&d was so special to me like i'm so glad that i met you and that i got to work with you for even just a little bit it was great oh my gosh the feeling is mutual everybody brianna clark thank you so so much i'll check in with you soon love you Mwah. bye you. bye Oh my gosh, friends. Oh.